Hello, welcome to this awesome channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my new take a note planner. Uh, I have a previous video where I do the unboxing and like kind of like a quick review. Uh, and just to sell it as a little background, I purchased this online on November, but I made the mistake of ordering like regular uh, shipping so I couldn't track where it was or anything so I finally got it I was I am super excited and now I'm going to do the setup for this planner first of all let me add um, so in the previous video where I show kind of like a, the quick overview I showed you that this planner comes in this very nice bag I ordered it on London gifties and it is a Japanese planner. When you go to the Take a Note website, they only ship to Japan, so it is a great, great thing. Thank you, London Gifties, for making this available for all of the, uh, for those of us that can't go to Japan. This is a fifth anniversary edition. It looks like, and the planner comes with this clear cover that you can add to it because it has like a very white cardstock cover that could stain very easily and London Gifties was super nice to send me this planner with these kind of little gifts so I added this here it was in the, with this package I added this here for decoration and I really look how, how it looks and I am um, housing this in my Lihid Lab uh, Smart Fit cover I also have a review about this cover, which I am liking a lot. Okay, now let's start. I like the way this looks already, very simple. It matches nicely with the cover. I like the white background with this kind of like little uh, postcard from, they're of, uh, I guess, London Gifties designs. And they all have this in the back. Like, yeah. In order to kind of save time and not make this video super long, I added my Midori tabs. I am adding links for everything I'm using here uh, in the description of, of this video. So I had these Midori tabs. When you buy the package, it has four uh, sets of 12 months uh, tabs. And I thought I was only going to use one in my main planner, which is my Hobonichi A6. But I actually ended up adding these tabs to my Moleskine for work. It's a tiny uh, pocket size Moleskine. And I thought they would look super nice in here, and they do. I don't know how visible, there it is. I like how tiny and easy to grab, easy to see because of the colors. They work perfect. I've been loving them in all of my planners and I'm definitely uh, purchasing them again next year. Although I have a remaining extra one, but uh, the way I am with planners, I may need more. <laughs> okay, so here's a take a note. Another thing I did to save time <laughs> and not make this video like an hour long was the monthly headers here so that's what i'm going to start doing i only added the the months to the months that correspond to this year so uh, to 2020 i didn't add it to december 20, uh, 2019 or the three extra months this planner gives you on 2021 which are january through march that way I know I am in the current year. This has Tommy River paper, let me add that. And something I'm noticing that is different from the uh, Hobonichi Tomoe River paper is that this seems to absorb the ink faster. You know, if, you've, you, if you have used Hobonichi planners, they have this kind of uh, coating that make them a little more shiny. This one is kind of drier, but it feels nice. 
Uh, this reminds me more uh, of the Stalogy paper that also absorbs ink very nicely, very fast, and you don't have to wait that long for this to dry. As I mentioned on my quick review of this planner and unboxing, I love the minimal design of this layout. I, I love it. I wish it was easier to get this planner. The only place I've seen where you can get it is London Gifties. If you know of another place, uh, share in the comments so we all know. I always like to go back to add shadows and highlights. This washi tape is from JetPens and I am a huge fan of it already. It has like a bunch of different cactus designs that you can remove from here and use individually. Here in January, I do like how they cover the dates, so I'm gonna use some of them. Here, this planner I'm using it to plan all my social media um, videos, activities when I have to shoot something because I do want to be very consistent with my publishing dates. So, this is I'm going to use all the month of January, which I didn't use for actual planning. This planner is an A5 and it has the week on one side and then you have two days per page, which is great. I love that. It has like a, the times of the day and you have very light a division for uh, midday and here very lightly a darker line that divides the day in two columns. I love everything about this planner but i miss january so i'm going to use the daily uh, space to write uh, all the brainstorming because i'm always th thinking about video ideas and i want to catalog them or crowd them in here maybe i'll move this so that I only have them for that pr purpose. Oof. Okay, quick note. This paper doesn't take washi tape removal kindly, like Hobonichi Tomoe River paper. Maybe because it's kind of drier. Uh, well, I'm gonna leave those there so I don't mess this up. Okay, now I have most of my tiles for my collections, but I know that in the month of January, I have plenty of space to add more information. And I know that this month is only for my collections. Therefore, I added this tab uh, in the current month, but in the month of January, I am going to add uh, what which collections are in each page so this is going to be more like an index okay we're done with january with my collections section then uh, we have february okay so my battery died in the middle of uh, shooting this video uh, so i don't know yet how much i was able to get from my uh, setup 
but just as a wee, uh, quick overview, um, I did I used January for my uh, collections, and I'm going to use the monthly January calendar as an index for my collections in this month. Uh, for February, I'm just adding some small details here. I was able to remove one of the stamps from the London Gifties envelope, and I love that it came even with a little cardboard in the back. I love stamps. And these two are from a mail I received this month. Let me... Okay, I was interrupted so many times. I am now recording this on a different day. But I did want to show you the final setup for this planner. So, um, let me go from the beginning. You saw this. So I added some taxes here. February, here I have my uh, publishing schedule. Also in March, but then, uh, well, the next of the months are empty. And then when we go to January, I have my collections where I do brainstorming and I just jot down all the ideas that come to me so that I always have something um, to work on. Then uh, February, uh, the days I didn't use them, I'm using them for notes. Um, and this is, this is going to fill up with time. These are all notes. Here I added some decorations, but this is still for notes. Uh, more notes. And here is where I started using it as a planner to plan my content and how well I will do it. Oh, and with the little uh, postcard that came with the girl that has like her planner in her arms, I cut the sides, rounded the corners to make this very cute bookmark for my planner. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and give thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, um, I go ahead and subscribe. I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday. At least I do my best to make it that way. Um, other than that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.